There's those good looking windows. The Pella Architectural Series. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. So you got the seals all taped up. Looks good. All right, so what do you want to do first? There's some sort of magic to that order. I just don't know if I can, I'm gonna have to probably climb down the scaffolding and come back around. I oh yeah. Wanna, I don't wanna go they don't have it linked. They, ha they have the, it goes around the chimney, but there's too many things to climb over that. Oh yeah. We're no monkeys, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind it, but they, you know, how they set up their scaffolding is not. One thing we need to remember before we paint sheetrock is to clean all this junk out. Okay? Or before we hang insulation. That's something you could be doing, Barry. Okay. So, um, well, not right now. You're going to have to help me. So, if I can put the camera down, I don't know if I can do without it or not. These have, uh, the big ones have brick mold. Uh, they weren't supposed to come with brick mold. I'll have to snap that off. I'm not real sure how it, because these are these are different than the ones we usually get in that they have this flange and it's kind of like all glued in or something. Huh? They, they usually have that kind of flange. It's riveted too, isn't it? Oh, these are screwed. Oh, that screwed? Yes. Yeah, well, just take. I thought that was riveted. Just take the screw out. Yeah, we don't want the we don't want the brick mold on there. I don't suppose they won't look like. Uh, let's see what the others look like. See, those don't have a the old windows don't have the trim on them. That's just a slot. That's where the slot that little slot's where that brick mold goes. Don't, don't let go of it, Barry, unless he says to. Okay? You let go. All right, now grab a, uh, grab your shims. What do we got? We need some small stuff. 22 of those quarter inch pieces. There you go. <clears throat> so what you want to do is start off by, all right, raise this. Raise it up a little bit. And just start off with a shim on each side. Okay. Now, where's our level? Let's try a two foot level here. Got it upside down. What you want is on a, a window like this, you want it to be level first and then plumb. On these tall windows, you want them to be plumb first and then level. Okay, so I'm that's, working on that's, the equipment later, okay? Boy, well, you better get off the phone. All right, now what I need is a piece of cardboard. Isn't there a piece of cardboard in there? Cardboard. This thing's. Yeah. Uh, you probably bag filled with cardboard right behind you. That's true. <laughs> so we have plenty of cardboard. Just, just peel off a little piece. We got all kinds of stuff going on here. Hello. All right, we've got her perfectly level. Using. Okay. We have it centered in the opening, so now we're safe.
that's going to be a closet in there, right? It's just going to be open. Oh, it's not? Okay. Does it get a yeah. light? No. Okay. Well. Because that's one thing we haven't spoken to. Yeah, we actually did talk. I did talk to Nancy about putting a light in there. So, well, let's get these windows hung. First things first. All right, Barrett, I'm going to film you handing them. I'm just kidding. Hold on. Son, I was just kidding. All right. Dude, let me help you. Okay. All right, now, where's our uh, shims? Put, put two quarter inch shims under the bottom there, Barrett. There you go. Make sure they don't stick out past the framing. There you go, turn it sideways. Now, let's see what we've got. Does this, does this level have an arrow? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, Again, that looks pretty good, but we're going to perfect it. I need a piece of cardboard under that side right there. Bear it. No, that's your side over there. Hold on to it. Are you putting that on top of your existing? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm trying to you can put it on top of your. There you go. Now, that should have made it perfect, which I think it did. Yes. We can, we can work it out. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh, it's probably a couple hundred. No, it's not that. It's probably 150 pounds. Really? Oh, I was able to pick up one side of it with one arm. They're not that heavy. The glass obviously is the most heavy component. Say the most 80 pounds. Yeah. No, I don't want me to do it. Okay, I don't have a good. Hold on, hold on. I'll give up my film career for a few seconds. <laughs> now don't let go unless you say, Eric, do you have the window? Yeah, I got it. Okay. You see, Barry, it's all about communication. Don't ever let go, because you're both going to assume Still the other one has it. What do I do with these? Hold on to the shims, boy. Why, why do you want... Because we might need them. Okay, Barry, two quarter inch shims. I might as well just sit them down and look. <clears throat> now, Eric, what I wanted to do, I really wanted to get your tape and measure the distance off the corners of the room of these windows so is there any way we can open the window enough just to get the tape or you can tack it see you thanks Ron Thank Mary grab okay this is precarious thank you All right now little apprentice where's our two foot level there it is Okay, Barrett, put this up there. What do we got? Okay, your end needs to be raised up a little bit, so let's try a piece of cardboard. I often wonder, what is level anyway? The earth is round. I'd say that's pretty good, don't you? I'm trying to look through the viewfinder. <laughs> Does that look good, Eric? I... Yeah. Pretty good, isn't it? Okay, now, Barrett, grab the level so I don't drop it. And you gotta move it, you can move it now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure. I'm gonna measure from this corner. That's, wow, 26 inches exactly. Now I'm gonna go over here. 
just a small detail okay that one's 26 and 5 eighths so what we're going to attempt to do is keep it level okay well that's pretty good it's gonna be within a quarter of an inch that's pretty good so because I just pulled it over a quarter so I like it put the level up there one more time Barry since we pulled on it She's a level. Okay, here's a dilemma. Bear, hold the level up there. So, like you're checking plumb. Do it, do it against the outside of the jam. Now turn your level around. There you go. Now, what does that say? It's a little off, isn't it? Let's check the level. I mean, let's check the square. Pull that down. Why does the phone always ring? That's 46 13 sixteenths. Now, let's check it this way. Wow, that was perfectly square. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Yep. What's funny about these modern day windows is you can pay all the money in the world for them and they will still be a little out of square here and there you know so you have to check them for square plumb level and usually you can't get them all three so what you have to do is say okay this is a horizontal window I want it to be level and that is a vertical window so I want it to be plumb and then you get the other two square and level <laughs> as close as you can, which is what we've done. Well, I think they look good. I don't know how Eric's gonna get inside, but because I've locked the window and I'm not gonna let him in. <laughs> Are you ready to go? I know you've been waiting patiently and I appreciate it. Alex is on fall break and it's blind because I have nothing to do. Yeah, well you could have been, you know, driving nails or something. But you never asked me, and I. I know. I, I feel like to do something. I feel like I'm breaking the child labor laws. So I'm all I did. Asking. All I did. Barry said, "He he's he's technically an employee, so he has to work, <laughs> and he does a good job." All right, so we're ready for we're ready to finish the insulation and uh, check the electrical one more time and drywall next week. So, will you quit making noise?